Hello everybody, MBR here. We are back with a brand new rebuild. I guess you can say a redo of a rebuild. And we will be redoing the um, New York Giants. My personal favorite team. And um, yeah, there has been a lot that changed with this team from last, last time we rebuilt them to now. There's been a lot that changed. First of all, Jerron Brown is now on the team, which I think was an extremely big pickup for us. Extremely, extremely big pickup. He started all 16 games for the Rams last year and stuff like that, but that's, that's just a little bit of it. This O-line is completely different. John Halapio hasn't been starting since Spencer Pulley. Um, Nate Solder has been absolute garbage. Odell's playing up to his thing. Sterling Shepard is. Eli has been doing has been doing good for stats but not for winning games i'm gonna say that he has i think he's fourth in the league in passing yards he is what fourth in the league in passing yards i know he's like top five in completion rating right now stuff like that and qbr stuff like things like that but he is just not doing the best and he's not doing the best because he has been sacked 31 or 32 times already doesn't have any time to give it to our playmakers. Um, we just picked up Corey Coleman, Benny Fowler, too. This team's not good. Evan Ingram hasn't been good. This defense, there's been a lot of change. No more Eli Apple. Um, no more Dalvin, Tom uh, Dalvin Tomlinson. No more Snacks. Probably my favorite player on this defense. No more Snacks. I was very angry when we, we traded him. Um, I think some of these ratings are very, very... Eh... I think Alec Ogletree has played decently. He should have like a 75 at least. Curtis Riley, I think, has played decently. At least like a 74, 75. Um, other than that, I'm f oh, and BJ Hill. BJ Hill has been, and BJ Hill has been amazing for us. Same thing with Kerry Wynn. But other than that, this is kind of like, meh. But I expect to, this team's already basically blown up. This team is already basically blown up and we have a few building pieces such as will hernandez evan ingram odell and shepherd saquon on this offense defensively we have pieces such as landon collins and dalvin tomlinson and also bj hill and lorenzo carter so and i'm counting him as a building piece because probably my very very good pick out of western michigan in the um, expansion draft, not expansion draft, what do they call it? The, uh, I forgot what they called it. I forgot what they call it. It's kind of like the Rule 5 draft for MLB. But Sam Beal, very, very good pick. I had to pay a third round pick for him, but good pick. Very good pickup. Got injured, but I think he's going to do some good things next year. So people I put on the trade block, Eli Manning. I have put Nate Solder on the trade block. Defensively, I put Janoris Jenkins. I have put... I don't know who after that. I think. Did I put Kurt? No, I didn't. I don't think I put anybody else other than that on the trade block. I might have put Mario Edwards. No, I don't think I did. But yeah, that's everyone who's on the trade block as of right now. I'm going to try and get some picks for next year. Because we desperately need them. Because we need to just completely blow up and rebuild this team. And I'm just going to say it right here. The draft that I do here. I'm going to be doing a New York Giants mock draft. The draft that I do here is not my mock draft. For a thing. Because the draft class I have here. I have a few players that I don't think are going to declare. But they're declared here. So just know that. But I'll see if we get any trade offers. And if not, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Okay, so I'm going to take this offer from the Carolina Panthers. It's going to be a third round pick this year, a cornerback, and next year's sixth round pick. Now, this guy is on his rookie contract. He's young. I think he's like 24, 76. He's only normal development, but he'll definitely come in and he'll help what we're trying to do here. Um, Honestly, I there just really wasn't any better options. He's going to come in and probably be cornerback number one. He is, and I want Sam Beal starting. 
probably in the slot too yeah I don't we don't care about winning right now even though I did just trade player for player but that's just more just having somebody having somebody just right there that's more of that so no more other trade offers I'm gonna see what we can do but I'll probably see you guys at the end of the season okay so we're gonna have one more trade I'm gonna be trading away Nate Solder out to the Kansas City Chiefs a third a fifth and a next year's sixth I will take that all the way to get rid of Nate Solder's contract yeah that was just a big play by us and we could hopefully get some more offensive line help through the draft okay so it looks like we didn't make the playoffs which I think everybody expected um you not Eli Saquon Barkley looks like he had a pretty good year so does it look like uh, can't talk today it also looks like Sterling Shepard had a pretty good year defensively Everything looks pretty decent. Eli's went down two overall. No, he actually hasn't went down anything. I thought I said 72. His offensive line did not have a good year, though. Um, This division didn't have a good year. So it's kind of like this year in the NFL. Eli Manning, 3,800 3, passing yards, 20 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. Rushing almost 1,000 yards for Saquon Barkley, 7 touchdowns with 2 fumbles. I don't expect very much from Saquon Barkley with that offensive line. So, Sterling Shepard is going to have a thousand yards, seven touchdowns, five oh eight and two, and seven fifty seven and five for OBJ. Oh, this is one's going to be fun to watch. Look at sixteen sacks led up by Chad Wheeler, eleven by Brian Malik, nine by John Halapio, eight and eight. Wow. Defensively, Alec Ogletree is going to lead our team in tackles at one oh five tackles for loss. 16 by Dalvin Tomlinson and 12 by Mario Edwards Jr. Sacks, 6 for Olivier Vernon, 4 for Cree Martin, 4 for Alec Ogletree. All right. Okay. Interceptions, 3 for Sam Beal, 2 for Landon Collins, 1 for Kevin Seymour, and 1 for Curtis Riley. Looking at the other awards, Tom Brady's going to an MVP. We're going to have on the NFC side, actually, Todd Gurley's going to win it. Um, no Giants. Defensive player of the year is going to be Deion Jones. Offensive rookie of the year is going to be Josh Rosen. Narrowly beat out Saquon. All right. Probably not going to have anybody here. But we do have the best rookie in Adrian Peterson. Fred Warner is going to defensive player of the year. Sam Beal is going to come in at number four. And Lorenzo Carter is going to come in at number eight. Okay. I mean, I'll take it for a first year. Um, Eli's probably not going to be here next year. It's either if he doesn't retire, I'm trading him. Um, Kyle Oletta actually got a few snaps. He has quick development. I wanted to see what Kyle Oletta could do this year, but I didn't get any trade offers for Eli Manning. So, I also didn't get any trade offers for Jonathan Stewart. I was waiting for him. Nothing for Jay Stewart. So, eh, I mean, good year for us just tanking-wise get that first overall pick and let's see what we do with it probably gonna go qb but i'm definitely doing a little bit of scouting looking around seeing what we can do with the pick okay guys so eli didn't retire and i just kind of decided to make an executive move and we're gonna make a realistic trade a trade i actually thought was gonna happen um i thought eli would waive his no trade clause sometime soon i thought it was probably gonna happen in the off season last year but it didn't surprisingly um, there's a lot of reports coming out and stuff like that. Eli Manning is a Hall of Famer, no doubt. I'm not arguing that. He is a Hall of Famer. Um, the guy's just an amazing quarterback, but he's on the down spiral of his career, paying him a lot of money right now. This is a pretty realistic trade, sending Eli to the Jaguars to reunite with Tom Coughlin for a fourth-round pick. I like the trade. Jaguars apparently like the trade, so we're going to do it. See you guys in free agency. Okay, so you guys know who I have on the board. As a Giants fan, we all know the inevitable that hopefully we are going to get Justin Herbert, um, probably the best quarterback in college right now. Um, you can go between him and Dwayne Haskins. I like Dwayne Haskins a lot too. But I'm before I also say this, I'm also a Giants fan because I'm going to have a mock draft coming out, which is going to have it where Justin Herbert doesn't declare I'm also a Giants fan who isn't, like, dead set on Justin Herbert being a franchise quarterback for our team. If we could find another quarterback, we'd find another quarterback. But 
in this franchise, it is going to be Justin Herbert, the strong arm, 21 year old, out of Oregon. He's going to be a 78, quick development. He's not ranked number one. Drafted him at number two. And hopefully he's going to be a franchise quarterback for years to come in this franchise. Let's see if he is. All right, so now in the second round, we'll be picking the absolute bonkers safety, Juwan Johnson. Amazing, amazing combine. Um, I Again, I never picked Juwan Johnson in any of these franchises, so I'm hoping he's good. God, oh, that's crazy for a combine. 76, quick development. He's going to slot in at a starting free safety role. I'm s I've never seen a combine that good. Never. Even if this player isn't auto generated, I've still never seen a combine that good. This guy is a very good pick for our first pick in second round. Okay, so this is probably the last pick I'm gonna show you guys because I there's not really very many other players that are on my radar. But wide receiver Marquise Brown out of Oklahoma, he's gonna come in for us. Hopefully be our wide receiver number three. What is he? 75, but he does have quick development. I'll definitely take it. Um, slot guy, but he is a deep threat, which I like. He's definitely going to come in, I think, depending on what wide receivers we have, I think he's going to come in day one and be that third wide receiver. Hopefully, he'll progress to even more. Okay, so this is what the team is looking like. Not a good team in any any which way of the imagination. Um, Yeah. I mean... I switched Wesley Mugel, who we did pick in like the fourth, fifth round, who has a quick development. He was a guard. I switched him to center because I tried to draft another center. Wasn't good. So let's hope he at least kind of develops. Um, everyone here is a power scheme, which is good. So they'll at least be getting some type of development. I think Will Hernandez is a star now. He is. All right, good. But a lot of these guys I signed in free agency. The two tackles I signed in free agency. Um, just undrafted free agents and Justin Herbo. I need to make sure has a scheme fit. He's not a West Coast guy. I need to see if there's a strong arm with a power. So strong arm, agile, field general, field general, strong arm, power. All right. But right tackle is a pass protector, so is left tackle. I can care less about those two positions right now. So we'll we'll stay with that. And then ninety five and a four six. This could actually be pretty decent then. 4-6, base 4-3. Mm, I want man-to-man -man cornerbacks. We'll just keep this for right now. I want a man-to-man -man cornerbacks. But this is what we're looking like for our last team to actually load. Everyone, except for the two tackles, is pretty good with the scheme fits. Defensively, we're not looking good right now. I need to upgrade some guys, but we do have some type of something. Sam Beal was really, really good in his rookie season. Still has a quick development. I might have to sign some cornerbacks, but overall, pretty decent season. Well, not decent season. Hopefully, we're going to have a decent season. Um, just need something. That's all we need. Just need something. Some type of form of development. I don't expect anything this season. Next season is probably going to be our season, but sorry for going on for a long time. See you guys at the end of the season. Okay, so a fun surprise. We did a lot more than make the playoffs. I thought we were going to have a top 10 pick again. We did a lot more than that. We made the playoffs. We won our division. We have a first round bye. So, I want to see how this one started. Almost 40... Wow, almost 4,500 passing yards, 27 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. Also, before I do this, just to show you guys, I didn't force any wins or anything because I did actually get a question about that. Um, some people actually thought I did force wins regular season. Nothing. All right. But, yeah. Um, rookie quarterbacks are definitely a cheat in this game, if I do say so myself. Justin Herbert, almost 4,300 yards, 27 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. Rushing over, wow, 1,200 yards, Saquon Barkley, 9 touchdowns, 1 interception. Receiving over 1,000 yards for Sterling Shepard, 941 for Odell Beckham, and 6. Evan Ingram, 853 and 8. 
Marquise Brown with 518 and 2. Blah, yes. Just never looks good. Yeah, I kind of expected it with two free agent left tackles. On the defensive side, Alec Ogletree, 106 tackles, 100 by Michael Thomas, our sub linebacker. Tackles lost 2. 20 for Olivier Vernon, 7.5 sacks for him, 7 for Kareem Martin, 5.5 for Lorenzo Carter, and 12 tackles for loss, 13 tackles for loss, and 3 from BJ Hill. My God, all right. Landon Collins with 2 interceptions, 1 interception by, Le uh, one interception by Alec Ogletree, 1 by Michael Thomas, and 1 by Kevon Seymour. Definitely a year, definitely a year. Tom Brady is going to win MVP. Justin Herbert coming at number 10. NFC, Matt Ryan is going to win it. Justin Herbert at number four. Defensive players can be Demarcus, Lawrence, no. Oh, Landon Collins and Alec Ogletree at eight and nine, respectively. Justin Herbert, of course, is going to win Offensive Rookie of the Year. Marquise Brown coming in at number four. All right, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Kendall Joseph is going to win Defensive Rookie of the Year with Juwan Johnson coming in at number seven. That that was a season that was definitely a season 12 and 4 we're going in with some momentum because we did win our last game against dallas and we're gonna be fighting whoever goes well whoever wins the um wild card round so i'll see you guys there we're gonna be doing play the moment so get ready okay this so we are in the game we're going against the green bay packers and we're just calling it um what's it called three we can only come in three times. We're down 3-0 early. The Packers literally outmatch us in every single way possible. And I'm going to take this red zone possession right here. They just outmatch us everywhere. So, basically, my plan is just to keep it on the ground and let Saquon Barkley do as Saquon Barkley does. We have a rookie quarterback back there. You just got to let him go. And Saquon could not get anything on that play. Whoever 47 is with the visor. All right. I'm going to try to run a play action. See if I can get Evan Ingram open. Or we can go to two-minute warning. That's also a thing. But, oh, we just need to pick up a first here. The biggest, biggest thing is about just moving the ball. That's the biggest thing in the playoffs, honestly. It's just moving the ball. And they're going to bring a safety blitz. I should be one-on-one. -on -one. And we're going to have eight questionable i thought sterling shepherd was definitely open on that one so third and eight um yeah i'm just gonna look for the dig route on this again pick up the yardage no nah, there's not really anything else so we're just gonna look for the dig route pick up the yardage and we're gonna throw an interception i meant to throw it to y i meant to throw that one to y that's my fault that is all my fault i wanted to check down to saquon damn it all right Two minute draw, we're gonna skip this. Your defense, oh, third down. They're gonna go 10, zero, what? All right, third down alert. We're gonna skip this. We're gonna take this red zone alert again. I don't know how they scored twice that fast. We need to score, how are they up 20? So we need to score a touchdown right here. Is what I'm basically hearing. They're gonna be open. Sterling Shepard is gonna catch that one. Three interceptions for Justin Herbert. All right. Get okay, first playoff game. It happens. It definitely happens. We're gonna give this one to Saquon, and just give it to him out in space. Spin move. That should have been a touchdown. Got to run the hurry up. Uh. I'm just going to toss it again. Come on, come on. I want to score before the third quarter ends. Can I? We're going to have a whole touchdown. Saquon Barkley. We need to start mounting a comeback. Our defense has not been doing good. Yeah, it does not look like we're going to mount a comeback here. We're just going to skip that. 13, big onside kick. Yeah. No comeback, no comeback, no comeback. 26 to 13. I'll play this last one just so we don't lose by that that much. 
I'll play this last down. And we don't even have any time. So four, three, hike the ball, hike it. We're going to have Marquise Brown wide open. Garbage time touchdown, garbage time touchdowns. But, hey, Justin Herbert didn't have his best game of the year. But hopefully we can come back next year. We can do the same thing, win our division. And, yeah, that's kind of the biggest thing we need to do. Just win our division. But Okay, so this one's a little bit of a surprise. Vincent Long, out of Ohio State, didn't really think that much about him. Drafting with our first pick in the third round. Pretty good player, 76, normal development. Probably going to come up to quick because he's going to come in and be our number one linebacker. So this guy's going to slot in perfectly in our defense. I cannot wait. Okay, so I guess we got like another, I guess we'll call it silver lining pick. 71 overall, right tackle, Angel Pitts, but he does have quick development. Probably going to be a backup for us, but I thought that was pretty cool that he had quick development. I mean, hey, you got to find... When there's a bad draft class, you just gotta find diamonds in the rough sometimes. I guess you can call this guy a diamond in the rough. Okay, so this is what our team is looking like in year, I believe, three of the rebuild. This offensive line is still terrible. Have not been able to hit on offensive line picks, but defensively, cornerbacks just. Cornerbacks, too, haven't been the best. Um, drafting defense other outside of Juwan Johnson just hasn't been the best um just gotta hope we can get something again maybe some justin herbert magic but um there's always like a little thing where rookie quarterbacks where they take a little bit of a dip sophomore slump so i'm not expecting too much out of this team yet again we make the playoffs and make the playoffs we don't we don't kind of playing with house money right now if we don't we'll have a better draft pick and we can actually pick up some real offensive linemen pick up some real defensive players so that's kind of how I'm looking at it. Hopefully the same way as you guys look at it. And with that all said, just cut one guy and I'll see you guys in the off season. Okay, so we didn't make the playoffs. Like I said, just don't expect too, too much out of this team. Um, it's definitely not a complete team just yet. Looks like we had decent season. We went six and 10. I mean, yeah, yeah. Justin Herbert, another good season another very good season wow um 40 well 4300 passing yards 27 touchdowns 10 interceptions rushing over a thousand wow a lot of ones 11 well 1111 yards 11 touchdowns five fumbles though so definitely something you want to get kind of down packed 2000 yard receivers and odell beckham with um 1100 and 1100 also for sterling Shepard and seven and eight touchdowns respectively Sacks, 15 let up by Jason Brannett. Again, you got to expect it at this point. Vincent Long's going to lead our team in tackles at 134. 13 tackles for loss, too. And he's going to lead our team along with Olivier Vernon in tackles for loss. Wow. Nine sacks for Olivier Vernon. 5.5 for Kareem Martin. Three for Dalvin Tomlinson. Three. How come it keeps on putting in Kareem Martin? Even though I have Lorenzo Carter starting. Very weird. And then just one interception for quite a few people. I don't know why that's happening. I don't like that. Jared Goff is going to win the MVP. No Giants. NFL. Oh, NFL. Uh, NFC offensive player is going to be Todd Gurley. No Giants. Offensive play. Uh, defensive player of the year. I can't speak today. Is going to be Deion Jones. No Giants. Offensive rookie. There's going to be AJ Marshall. We didn't really pick anybody on the offensive side. Defensive rookie, there's going to be Vincent Long, our middle linebacker, with whoever Vog Gales is coming in there at number six. So, overall, pretty decent. Um, just another year of progression. We get a better pick. We can definitely finally try and fix this offensive line, which is going to be our main priority. Fixing this offensive line and fixing the secondary, too, are going to be our two main main priorities, really. It's going to be something big going into this offseason. Okay, guys, so we're going to be starting on the re-signing page just because we are not going to be able to re-sign Olivier Vernon, who had superstar development with us. He's 30, though. We I tried to re-sign him. I gave him the exact money he wanted. He thought that free agency would be the best for him. We'll let him think that, but we're going to go into free agency this year. I'm going to sign some free agents. We haven't signed one free agent just because the free agency classes have been so just barren. 
but we need to make some big moves. We have 76 million in cap, and there is a few guys we can make a few big moves with looking like. It's looking like if people didn't just offer literally their whole entire franchise to some of these guys. I think we're good on wide receiver, even though I would want to pick up Curtis Samuel. We're good on wide receiver. I, oh my God, the Buccaneers are going to have Deion Dawkins basically locked up. And they're, I can't have one person. Okay, so we have to go for defense then. I'm probably going to be switching. I've been thinking about it, and I'm probably going to be switching us to a 3-4. I mean a 4-3. So Derek Barnett would fit perfectly into that. Derek Barnett would really, really fit perfectly into that. Because you just don't get sacks when... Um, I need to fix that offer, though. The Redskins going for Zach Cunningham. But we can... Ooh, there are some cornerbacks we can definitely pounce on. So I'm going to go... Actually, you know what? We could stay in our defense how we... No, I'm not going for that. Never mind. But if Derek Barnett signs with us, I would be more than okay to switch to a 4-3 I'm gonna go a little bit higher but I'd be more than okay to switch to a 4-3 if he does decide to sign with us come on I will still have about probably when this free agency is done we'll still have a little bit of money left over the cornerbacks I'm gonna sign Sidney Jones we need Sidney Jones we need a cornerback in general I'm gonna make sure that he signs with us also it's hurting the Eagles too um, other than that, I think that's the only two free agency, well, the only two free agency moves we will make. So let's hope they're good moves. I mean, Seymour has been developing pretty good. Same thing with Sam Beal. So we just, and also the rookie cornerback, I guess the computer draft, who's 75 overall. Accepted and accepted. So we will be switching to a 4-3. Now we just need to get this offensive line set. And I think we'll be pretty decent next year. So let's hope we can do it in the draft. Have a good pick. Let's see what we can do. Okay, guys. So with our first pick, the number seven pick in the first round, we'll be picking Lewis Hanson, the left tackle. Good top three skills. Good combine. We need to hope he's something. Ugh. All right. 76. I'll take it. There was a few guys on the defensive side I really wanted, but I said offensive line is our biggest need. We need offensive line. The best offensive line we got taken right in front of me. So, yeah, but let's hope he can develop into something. He's a scheme fit, so who knows? Okay, now with the seventh pick in the second round, we'll be picking up Cooper Hitchens, another offensive lineman. Good bench press, good three cone, good top three skills, mid-second round pick. 79, quick development. He's going to slot in perfectly. I might change him to guard, actually. Now, mm, we'll see, because we do have Wesley Mugel, who was originally a guard, who I can switch over to guard. We'll see, but it looks like Cooper Hitchens is going to be starting on our O-line this year. Okay, so this is what the team is looking like for the fourth year. I think we're looking a lot better than we did in years past. Definitely looking a lot better. I'm very excited to see what this team is going to do. Um, I think we're starting to come together, but it's definitely still a work in progress. A few free agents are definitely going to help that, but I think as of right now, we should hold off a little bit. I'm not sure if we're going to make the playoffs or not. Not sure if it's just Justin Herbert Magic that we made the playoffs that one year, but we're going to hold off and we're going to see if we make them or not. Not going to say anything right now. Um, definitely very, very weird Madden. Um, no, I don't want to quit. Very weird Madden Sim. So we'll see. We'll definitely see. But with all that said, I think I will see you guys at the end of the season. Okay, so we didn't make the playoffs. Um, in the midseason, we were 5-3, and three, so I'd like to see what's going on. I see nobody with any decreases. Nobody. We won 10-6? and six, And we didn't make the playoffs? Hold on. We went 10-6 and six and didn't make the playoffs. You're kidding. We didn't make the playoffs because of two ties?
damn. All right. And the Eagles basically that oh god that's very very annoying justin herbert had his best season as a giant at least 30 oh f uh, almost at 38 40 uh, 43,000 thank you 43,000 passing yards 30 uh, 35 touchdowns nine interceptions rushing over a thousand yards for saquon barkley eight touchdowns 11 touchdowns from the receiving back the rookie receiving back james simmons Receiving 2,000-yard receivers, 13 touchdowns for OBJ, 8 for Sterling Shepard, 1,200 for Sterling Shepard, 1,000 for OBJ. Blocking never is pretty. 14 led up by left tackle Jason Brannett, but our rookie did pretty good. So, yeah, that's something. No, wow, nobody would over 100 tackles. Tackles for loss, 12 by Dalvin Tomlinson. 10 sacks for the new... Off the new giant, Derek Barnett. Nine for Lorenzo Carter. Interceptions, we're going to have two by Landon Collins, two by Sidney Jones, two by Kevon Seymour, two by Beal, and one by Juwan Johnson. Overall, very good season, but uh, Leonard Fournette is going to win MVP with Justin Herbert coming in at number three. NFC is going to be Ezekiel Elliott, Justin Herbert coming in at number two. Defensive player is going to be Leighton Van Der Esch. No Giants. Offensive rookie there is going to be... Really? The backup running back, James Simmons, is going to win Offensive Rookie of the Year. No other Giants. Defensive rookie going to be Sender and Ruffiff. No Giants. Wow. Wow. All right. I mean... Damn. How many points? He has two points. Wow. All right. Pretty good season, honestly. Um, That definitely should have made the playoffs definitely should have made the playoffs but we'll take this i guess we just got to come back next season harder i already signed back everybody in the midseason so i'll see you guys during free agency for get this team even stronger okay so we desperately desperately need some help in the linebacker position so we will be trying to pick up Leighton vander esch with the cap that we do have um this will be a big pickup if we can't pick him up I think this would definitely, again, should have been in the playoffs last year. We're going to go up by, like, hopefully in a little, like, two points, maybe. I want to go up by two points here. Okay. And then, left outside linebacker, we'll be trying to get Breland Speaks out of Old Miss. Um, another guy, just run stopper. Need him. Just kind of need him. Well, actually, no, there's another guy that I saw here. Pass coverage guy right here. Uh, I think we're just going to take Breland Speaks. I just want to see his speed and his ratings, though. 88 tackling, 79 speed. He's more of a... I guess you could say he's more of a pass rusher. But he isn't, though. Really weird. What about Len... What's Len Jacobs looking like? We wouldn't have to pay him as much. Good pursuit. 88 speed. We're picking up. Len Jacobs. Never mind. Never mind. We don't have to pay him as much, too. We are definitely picking up Len Jacobs here. And then... I think we're going to pick up one cornerback, and that is going to be Isaiah Oliver. So that means we'll have 380-plus corners, and this defense has definitely came a long way. If everyone signs who's supposed to, paid him a lot of money. If everyone signs who's supposed to, this defense has come an extremely long way. So let's hope, let's pray. Let's see if we can get everybody here. Honestly, we need like two of the three, hopefully the two linebackers. Those are the biggest ones. I need the two linebackers. Leighton Van Der Esch, please sign, please sign. Accepted by Oliver, accepted and accepted. Let's go, all right. That's perfect. That's gonna put us up to a 93 overall defense. And this team is looking deadly right now. This team is looking absolutely deadly. Four, five, 80 plus cornerbacks. Um, four, 85 plus cornerbacks. This D line is looking good. These linebackers are looking good. And all we need to do is just get a solid O line or solid tackles, and we will be set. So that's what we're going to try to do in this draft. I'll see you guys there. Okay, so big, big time pick. We're going to be getting Daniel Olson. Oklahoma, um, 6'4", 315, left tackle.
quick development, 79 overall. He's going to slot in at left tackle, probably slot in the rookie from last year at right. I had a right tackle I really wanted who ended up going to the Chiefs. One pick right before me again. He was an 81 overall, which kind of hurts, but I'll definitely take Daniel Olston. This was a pretty good pick for our O-line for a very win-now team. Okay, I think this one's actually pretty funny. Tate Tudin, or Tate Tudin, the quarterback out of LSU. I decided to pick him up because we don't have Kyle Letta anymore, and we needed a backup quarterback. He ends up being 78, quick development. I thought that was pretty funny just to add in. Rank number 27, drafted him at 84. He's a projected, I think, second-round pick. Drafted him in the third round. So I thought that was pretty funny. Okay, so for what I think is going to be our final year, we are looking very, very good. Um, 95 overall offense, 93 overall defense. Oh, probably about to turn to a 94, hopefully. Get this 90 overall Jawan Johnson out of the U. 94? No, still 93. But we are looking very, very good as a unit, and I'm pretty excited. I'm very, very excited for this season. We went 10-6 and 6 last year. Hopefully, we don't have any jet lag, and we just power, power straight through it. So we need to do. So let's see if we can make the playoffs for our final year with the New York Giants. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Okay, so in our final year, we get a first round bye again looking at it looks like we did quite well 11 and 5 so i like to see looking at the stats for the season wow 4800 passing yards 36 touchdowns six interceptions for justin herbert and a 70 percent completion rating rushing 1200 yards 12 touchdowns for saquon barkley three fumbles though 210 and one for jalen simmons kind of had a little bit of a a little bit of a down year from his rookie of the year campaign 1200 yards four touchdowns for obj 1314 for shepherd 650 and two for marquis brown and 596 and seven for evan ingram blocking seven wow only seven sacks let up for daniel orson five and a few others looking at the defense 12 112 tackles for Leighton Van Der Esch, and 12 tackles for loss for Derek Barnett, 12 for Lorenzo Carter, 10 for Leighton Van Der Esch, 12 sacks for, 12, uh, for Derek Barnett, 10 and a half for Lorenzo Carter, 5.5 for Van Der Esch, 3 for Vincent Long, interceptions, we're going to have 3 by Landon Collins, 2 for Vincent Long, and 1 for a few other players, this is looking good, yearly rewards, Justin Herbert, is going to win the MVP. Mayfield coming in at number two in the NFC. Justin Herbert is going to win Offensive Player of the Year. No other Giants. Defensive players will be Lindsley Ray with Lane Van Der Esch and Vincent Long coming in at four and five, respectively. Um, I only really drafted. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Who are these guys? Oh, the backup quarterback, Tay Two, and comes in at number nine. And whoever Jermaine Craig is comes in there. Any did I draft any defense? I did not. All right, so we are looking good. I'm gonna upgrade everybody. We're not gonna delay, and I will see you guys in the divisional round against whoever we play. Okay, guys. So we are in the game. There's already fireworks. We're going against the eight and eight, um, eight and eight Chicago Bears, and it looks like they are dicing up our defense pretty early but we are going to get a stop i'm going to skip the moment here third down i think just because we need points be one of our three i'm just going to take it right here and if it goes into a red zone drill we're not going to count that one i'm just going to keep on taking it if it goes into a red zone drill right after this but it's third and ten i didn't know that was third and ten uh i think slants are probably our best option and i'm going to motion obj over to the other side all right, so now we have a natural pickoff, so we could just... Shepard is open. Oh, fourth down, fourth down. Oh, I probably should hit OBJ on that. Oh, wait, I didn't... All right, I guess we're doing the field goal, too. Shoot, I can't really see my microphone's in the way. All right, good. We made the field goal. 
my microphone's like right in the middle of my screen, so it's a little bit hard when you kick field goals. You have to anticipate. Two minute drill, we're gonna skip the moment here. Oh, what? What are we doing? Okay, I'm jumping in here because I don't know what the hell are we doing. We were in a two minute drill. Must have thrown an interception. So we're gonna jump on Leighton Van Der Esch here. They're gonna take something. I guess they're gonna take something and we're gonna, oh, are you kidding me? How do we not intercept that? How did we not intercept? That was right to our hands. That was right to Juwan Johnson's hands. You're kidding me. All right. That was kind of annoying. They're gonna go up by 10. We need to come out. We need to come out strong next half. It's gonna go, probably gonna go up 13 10. Yep. So we have to come out strong next half. We only have, I guess, one more time we can come in. So that might have to be on a red zone drill or something. Oh, 19, down by 10 still. Third down. Oh my God, our defense is just letting us down. 23 10. Let me in, please, just let me in. 26 10. You're giving me 30, and you're putting me on the five yard line. The eight and eight Chicago Bears. <sighs> All right. I don't like this. I don't like this play, but we have no other play to run it in. Oh, that's a bad pass. That's intercepted. He just completely took Odell to the sideline. He took Odell to the sideline, and that was nothing we could do. That's just something we couldn't do anything on. I had to throw that one. <sighs> All right. Justin Herbert didn't have the best game. That's how we're going to end it off. I just want to see Justin Herbert's stats. Three interceptions. One of those is us, but come on. they In the playoffs, why is Justin Herbert such a bad quarterback in the sim? But you know what? Had a successful rebuild in my eyes. We should have should have really won more, but I guess that's just how the cookie crumbles. How the cookie crumbles, I guess. But if you guys did enjoy this episode, remember to go leave a like and go subscribe. It only helps me as a growing channel. Next rebuild will be on Friday, so make sure to look out for that. And I will see you guys in our next rebuild. Make sure I have a lecture day. See you later.